Hey, howdy, it's Wednesday already. It's time for some language lessons. Are you ready? Today we're learning about some special adjectives. Many, few, and, sev and several. I hope you're ready. It's gonna take um, some little time and you need your book, eraser, sharpener, something to decorate this life. Okay, because you'll be, you'll be circling and underlining. So color will be preferred. So let's talk about, before we go any further on, on book writing, let's talk about the word few, few, few. Look, there are not many apples in this basket. So there are only a few apples, only two, it's too few. The basket should be full, it should be completed. Okay, but it's not, it's not bountiful. So it's only a few apples. Few, few. That's why my example goes like, there are few apples. Okay, another example is with many, many, many. Look at the basket now. There are so many apples. Wow. There are many apples in the basket. Many, many, many. And check this out. Only a few of these apples are cut in slices. It's not a few. It's several of them. So several apples are cut in halves. Or I could have said, several apples are green. See? See my point? So when you use several, you're talking about many within a group. Okay? You try, you try to tell the reader or listener, there are many within a group. So several apples are cut in halves. Or several apples are green. In, on these trays. So let's work on page 29, fellas. Remember your language book. What is it? No, not this. This one. Okay, the one with the kid who's hand painting, finger painting. Huh? So let's work on that. These are apples from a tree. And of course, you need the date Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Okay. It's gonna be the heading over here. So make sure to use capital letters, periods, commas, superscript, and let's work. Okay, the first exercise we're working on is exercise A. Circle each adjective and um, that tells how many. Underline the noun that it modifies. So let me do number one for you. Many children are the museum. So what is the word that tells the quantity? What is the adjective that tells the quantity? Okay, you're guessing right, it's many. So you circle that one. And what is the noun that is being described? Children, many children. See, easy, easy peasy. Number two, there are several guides to show the children the museum. So what is the adjective that tells about the quantity here? Several. And what is being described? Guides. Number three. One boy didn't want to go on the tour. Okay, so what is the adjective that tells how many? One. Being described? Boy. The number four, he walked away and two girls followed him. Okay, so what is the quantity here in an adjective? Two, described girls, two girls. Okay, number three, number five, several teachers were looking for the boy and the girls. Okay, here is important to, um, to note, to point out. There are several teachers, so we're not talking about all the teachers in that group, but many of them. So this word is like many, but it's trying to tell you that it's a part of the whole, a part of a group. So several teachers were looking for the boy and the girls. Hey, wait a second. Okay, this doesn't sound correct. Okay, I better don't tell you what I found out, because it's an adult's point of view, but it's not nice, okay? Okay, 
whoever who who noticed what I noticed about these sentences, I just copied them, okay? I don't have not I have nothing to do with the source of these sentences. Okay, let's continue. I'm just talking silly. Number six. They looked in four galleries for them. Four galleries. Seven. They found the three children hidden under a sculpture. So how many children? Three. Describe children. Number eight. The children got in trouble and didn't go to school for one day. Oh, ouch. They were suspended. They were expelled. They were kicked out. They were go home now. Labeled. They lo expulsaron. Okay. I hope you were into the story like I was. Because we're done with exercise F. And you know what? We have to do exercise G. Okay. But that's going to be complete each sentence with an adjective that tells how many. That's going to be homework. So you're going to do it with, without Mr. Zuniga. Okay. Okay. I want to tell you that you don't have to do number one because there's a mistake in number one. There's a mistake because it should be like... Let me read it out loud. Okay, I'm gonna read it out loud in case you want to fix it with some liquid paper, with some white out, with some correction pencil. So, how should it go? It should go like... There are blank paintings in the museum. It should be like that. But the person who typed this made a mistake and made the blank be after paintings instead of before. So if you could fix fix that, you could solve the problem. If not, let's just not complicate and don't do number one, okay? So just do number two through number six. Use the words few, many, several. And don't forget to use cursive handwriting. Okay, you, you're gonna use these three answers for these exercises, okay? For the exercise F. Okay, let me focus properly. Okay, this is not this is never gonna work. Okay, so these exercises you do them with these three words. Few, many, several. It's up to you. But don't do number one unless you, you know how to correct it. Okay, you send me a photo of page 29 when you're ready. So I could grade it, okay? With that said, I think we did it. We did it, fellas. We got to the end of the, of the video. And if you want to see a second part with a glimpse of, it, of the Legend of Zelda, click on the second video, okay? And I'll be describing that for you. I'm gonna be like a gamer doing a gameplay, but it's not really gonna be like playing the video game. Okay, you better check out. Check on the second part of this video.